My name is Dave Woods. I'm uh, the athletic director here at Fenwick and also uh, head football coach. I've been the AD for 12 years and the head football coach for 22 years now. I've had three kids that have gone through the school, so I find myself more and more when we interview coaches, I think, would I want my son or my daughter to play for this person? Uh, so I, I think a lot of um, we, the X's and O's part of whatever sport it is isn't always on the top of our priority list. It's really more uh, the character of the coach and what their core beliefs are and, and what they're going to teach to the kids. So, uh, And I think we have a great group of coaches. A lot of them actually are alums and a lot of them are teachers here in the school. So uh, they, they fall right in line with the core values of the school and, and of the league in general. So. Uh, but it's interesting, it changes over the years what, what, your, uh, what your priorities are when you're interviewing coaches. So a lot of things we talk about with the coaches is, is you know, everybody wants to win. Um, but that can't be our number one goal. The number one goal is we, we want kids to uh, have a positive experience in the program. So whether they're the star player or the last player on the bench, everybody should know their role and everybody should have a positive experience. Uh, so that's, that's really a key thing. And, and then the other thing is just how you treat people. Um, you know, we don't, there's, there's a lot of old school coaches that are yelling, screaming all the time, and, and that's really not our style. Um, we really want to, you know, teach the kids, encourage the kids, and, um, I, I guess it's funny, I've been coaching for a long time and uh, the days of do it because the coach told you to do it. I don't think that really is a, an effective uh, way to coach anymore. Uh, so it's a lot of explaining to the kids uh, and making them understand why it's important that we do this and, uh, and it's all for their, for their good and for the good of the team. I, I couldn't, couldn't picture a better place than, than Bishop Fenwick for a number of reasons. Um, obviously, I'm a little biased, uh, but um, the amount of fields we have, the space out back is so conducive that everybody just walks out our back door, uh, whether they're on the turf field, whether on the eight lane track that we have or the beautiful cross country course, uh, the two baseball fields, two softball fields, and then we have two more soccer and field hockey fields, grass fields out back too. So there's always uh, space for people to just walk right out back, like I say. And I think one of the biggest things is our coaches. Our coaches are so, uh, they work so well together. You know, in the fall when we have, um, we have three field hockey teams, three football teams, three soccer teams, three girls soccer teams, boys soccer teams, and we're all trying to get on fields. Uh, and, and all those coaches come together and just work out a schedule and it is seamless every year. Uh, so it, it always amazes me how well the different coaches work together. And again, I think everybody has the same goal uh, and everybody realizes how fortunate we are to have 40 acres of land and all these fields. So uh, makes, it, makes it pretty special. So it's hard to, to talk about it without using the word family. And, and you know, and everybody at every level talks about our team as a family, uh, but it really is. If you talk to some of the kids that play here currently or some of the alums that played before, and, and it really, the, the teams we have and the, and the coaches, they really do foster a feeling of a family within the team. Uh, and, and of course, one of the things we preach always is your family at home is your number one priority. And school comes over that, over uh, athletics, but then when you get out on the field, you're really um, a family. And, and I think one of the best examples of that, and I hear this said to us all the time, is when freshmen come in as freshmen, the seniors really go out of their way to make sure the freshmen feel welcome and they, they take care of the freshmen. And I hear that every year. Uh, I remember when I was a freshman and this senior did this for me. And so I think that's a culture that's been fostered over the years. Uh, and, it, and it's just great to see that. So we do, we have a, a great amount of uh, commitment to, to each team, uh, you know, from the field hockey team, every team, there's, there's a really a strong sense of commitment for all the players. And when the players buy in and it's really their team, uh, you know, all our coaches, the philosophy, it's not, their, it's not the coach's team, it's the kid's team. Uh, and so when that philosophy is, is sent down from class to class, uh, it just, again, creates an atmosphere where leaderships, you know, leaders rise, whether they're in the junior class, senior class, sometimes sophomore class, uh, and again, just perpetuates itself. So um, I, I think the, the main philosophy on it is, 
it's your team. You know, what do you want it to be? Uh, and, and what you guys want it to be is what you'll make of it, not necessarily the coach. Uh, so I think the coaches, again, do a real good job of that. And we have a lot of coaches, I think, that, that really uh, spend a lot of time on fundamentals of their game and the basics, the real basics. And those, when you take care of all those little things, the other things like the wins and, and all that, um, really, those take care of themselves. I mean. So I, I think anybody uh, it, it, that's gone through their high school experience and, and they play athletics in high school, that's, you know, it's real formative years. You really be informed as what type of person you're going to become. So when I hear alums come back, they talk about um, the relationships they made with coaches, teachers, or with their classmates and teammates that they still have today. You know, my, the kid who played shortstop next to me, he's still my best friend. And, and we that's 30 years ago. So, um, and, and a lot of it is, again, any high school has that. But I think a school like this, that's, that you have people coming from so many different communities. And for them to, to bond that quickly and then to stay lifelong friends, again, that's why I get into to education, why I get into athletics, is to, to see um, relationships like that develop. So that's what I hear the most from the alums, uh, you know, and, and the boys I hear them always talk about is my brother and my, my brother. And, and sometimes like, did you have three brothers that went to school here? No, no, I just played with them. OK. I think it's just a, a, a perfect place for someone to come in and find themselves and, and, and do what they really love to do. Uh, a lot of kids come from public schools. Uh, and, and they've gone through, you know, seven, eight years with the same kids and, and they feel like, you know, this is what I'm supposed to do and, and I have to do this. And then they come here and it's open. Do whatever you want. Do it. Try something new. Uh, you know, we've had kids on the hockey team that have been in the play, uh, they've been in the band and, and kids that played football that, again, did things in the arts that they never would have thought they ever would have done. So I, I think it's just a great opportunity. There's, the opportunity is the key word. There's just so much opportunity uh, for success. You have so many people behind you. I, I know, again, my kids specifically, they had so many teachers and administrators and their guidance counselors, coaches that really were behind them and, and making sure that they were successful. And, and my two daughters and my son who's here now, they um, absolutely have had great experiences. Yeah, it's been, it's been great for them.